Sooner or later, every young man must answer one important question about his life. I'm yet a true man, or still a boy? The sad reality is that if you listen to modern society advices about how to become a man, you will end up becoming weak and fragile. But let's start explain that from a far ancient time. Our ancestors had much more testosterone and strength than the current generation, because they were used to live in a dangerous environment with difficulties to face wild animals and even enemies. They had to be sharp and strong. Since young age, they learn how to hunt, how to fight and survive in difficult situations. They had to master those skills to protect and feed their beloved from dangers. On the other hand, in the modern society, we live in a safer and lazy environment. We get care and even too much attention from parents and society. Basic things like food and protection are given for free and without any effort. We also have many bad habits that make us like anesthetized from reality. That's why modern man became lazy and weaker than our ancestors. Listen to me, the transition from a boy into a man is hard, especially if you didn't have a strong figure to guide you in the growth. In the modern world, a guy will be misguided and deceived to go far from healthy masculinity. Masculinity is not always toxic if it is cultivated in the right and positive way. It's needed to guide yourself and protect who is in need. You have to learn how to become mentally strong, brave and able to carry the weight of the life. We delve into five things that turn a boy into a man. Are you ready? Number one, face the sufferance. A man must learn how to face sufferance. Every man will experience different forms of pain, mentally, physically, and often the pain of other people. Life is hard and you will have to face hard times. As a man, you have to control your feelings to avoid being crashed by them. Only the modern world will tell men that it's good to cry like a kid. But unfortunately, it's true the opposite. In fact, other men will lose respect for a man that breaks down crying for silly things. And women will completely lose attraction for him. Avoid to cry in public, keep it as private, or in the company of very close persons that you can trust. Try to control it. I'm not saying you can never cry. We are all human and there are moments where it is okay to do it, but crying won't solve anything. Instead, as a man, you must learn how to endure the pain. Be resilient. Learn how to deal with insane pressure. Diamonds are forged under intense pressure. It is that pressure and suffering that creates strong and brave men that others can count on. Think about it, a boy will ask for parents help crying while the pressure becomes too much. As a man, you need to learn to face and overcome problems by yourself. Remain resilient and face difficulties head on instead of falling into despair. That will forge you as a man. In this world of uncertainty, where danger often lurks in the shadows, every man must possess the basic skills of self-defense. It's not about promoting violence or aggression, but about maintaining peace and safeguarding oneself and those who need protection. Imagine a situation where you need to protect your loved ones from a potential threat. If you lack strength and courage, you become a helpless spectator, watching in fear as your dear ones face harm. This is not about engaging in random fights, but about selflessness. The ability to defend oneself is not just about physical confrontations. It could be as simple as your imposing presence, your resonant voice, if you appear strong, determined and powerful, you can prevent a fight without throwing a single punch. Conversely, if you appear weak and scared, you incite a sense of superiority in the aggressor, escalating the situation. Being incapable of defense doesn't make you peaceful, it makes you harmless, a target for those with ill intentions. Some might argue that they are too ethical to train for a fight, claiming to be against violence. But when violence comes knocking on your door, the inability to defend yourself makes you a victim. It's a form of cowardice masked as morality. Remember, a true warrior prays for peace but prepares for war. Strength is not just physical, it's a mindset. The ability to react effectively in difficult scenarios is a testament to your mental fortitude. Imagine a situation where a fire breaks out and people are trapped inside. Would you panic and cry or would you rush to help them escape? To be prepared for such situations, train your body and mind. Start working out, take basic self-defense lessons and make your body stronger. Being masculine in the right way is necessary for society. Take firefighters and policemen, for example. They risk their lives to save others. They exemplify bravery and masculinity while also being protective and sensitive. It's proof that the right kind of masculinity is not just desired, but needed. 
As we navigate through the journey of life, it's important to remember that growth doesn't occur in comfort zones. True growth is born from risks and challenges, from daring to tread the path less traveled. It's about making that bold decision to leave your parents' house, to venture into the unknown in pursuit of your dreams. It's about having the courage to live alone, to take charge of your life and to manage the various situations life throws at you. It might be scary at first, like a bird leaving the nest for the first time, but the rewards are immeasurable. The difference between a boy and a true man lies in their ability to face challenges head on and to take calculated risks. Don't just live the life that others expect of you. Ponder upon your dreams, your aspirations and devise a plan to achieve them. Don't be afraid of failures. They are but stepping stones on your path to success. Every time you fail, you discover another method that doesn't work, bringing you one step closer to the method that will. Remember, a true man is not defined by his successes, but by the number of times he stood up and tried again after every fall. So embrace risks, venture beyond your comfort zones, and create the life you've always dreamed of. As we delve deeper into the concept of masculinity, let's discuss another pivotal characteristic, taking responsibility. A true man assumes responsibility for everything that happens in his life. It can be intimidating to accept the blame when things go wrong and it's easy to pin the responsibility on others or on unforeseen circumstances. It is in these moments of failure, however, that boys often point fingers and thus miss out on the opportunity to learn and grow from their mistakes. On the other hand, a true man takes complete ownership of his life, understanding that this is the key to personal growth. We all have a finite amount of time here on Earth, making time our most valuable asset. We didn't even know how much time we have. Living an inauthentic life, blaming others and circumstances for our dissatisfaction is perhaps the biggest waste of this precious resource. Today, make a pledge to take full responsibility for what happens in your life. Stop blaming others and circumstances, understand what is within your control, and be accountable for everything within that sphere. Rather than dwelling on the problems you encounter, shift your focus to potential solutions. Consider this example. You have a meeting at 10 o'clock, you leave home at 9.40 and arrive late due to traffic. Instead of blaming others on the road, consider the fact that you could have chosen a different route or left home earlier to ensure punctuality. Analyze the situation, identify the problem and find a solution to improve. This is the fundamental difference between a boy and a real man. When you understand and apply this principle, you stop making excuses and you gain control over your life. Remember, a true man is not one who never makes mistakes, but one who learns from them and uses these lessons to better himself and his surroundings. In our exploration of masculinity, we cannot overlook the biological aspect. Testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, plays a vital role in developing and maintaining masculine traits. However, modern conveniences and habits often lead to decreased testosterone levels, which can result in feeling physically weak, tired, and unfocused. If you lack energy and strength, you aren't able to deal with life, and even less with any potential treats. And that's not all, in fact. A lack of testosterone can also lead to emotional distress, such as sadness, anxiety, and even depression. Consider this analogy. Observe a male house cat after it loses its reproductive capabilities to a vet. You'll notice a significant change in its behavior. It gains weight, becomes lethargic, and loses its natural hunting instinct. This shift can be likened to the effect of low testosterone levels in men. Numerous scientific studies have shown that maintaining a healthy testosterone level can make you feel more energetic, healthier, and more productive. It sharpens your mind, a crucial factor for success in all areas of life. So, how can you boost your testosterone levels? First, stay active. Regular physical activity, particularly weightlifting, can significantly increase testosterone levels. Second, pay attention to your diet. Consuming junk food can lower testosterone, so opt for a balanced, nutritious diet instead. Remember, masculinity isn't just about the physical or mental traits we've discussed so far. It's also about biological factors that are within your control. So take charge, make healthy choices, and let's continue our journey towards understanding and embodying true masculinity. 
Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below and inspire others in this community. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights into masculinity. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next video. See you next time.